then I can hear my kids screaming in the house collapsing. It just, it came so fast. Josephine Fowler recalls the moment Tuesday evening when things changed for her family. Trees fell on her house, leaving her family trapped. It took emergency crews 45 minutes to arrive and eventually get them out. Her family, safe and unhurt, but their home, now condemned. And due to illegal additions and still open insurance claims from a previous owner, Fowler's home is uninsurable. For seven years, we would, you know, do updates or fix things and I would try over and over and over again and you just get denied every single time. Fowler is just one of several homeowners in Twin Lakes seeking help in the cleanup and recovery efforts. That's where FEMA comes in. Cass County Emergency Management officials did their own damage survey last week. The results of the survey were sent to the state of Michigan, while federal officials decided they wanted to take a closer look. And the state was able to gather all that data, including all of Southwest Michigan, and get that up to FEMA. Uh, FEMA got that information, and from what they received, they evaluated it and decided that they were going to come out here and uh, do their own damage assessments. Assessments are done by taking notes on each home with pictures, video, and original blueprints. If they declare this area a disaster zone, there could be some assistance for residents. We want to document the damage um, on every home, and then we have a scale. Uh, is it just a home that's got some minor damage? Is it got uh, significant damage, or is it completely destroyed? Thanks for watching. Here's another story you may like, and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.